In this video, we'll see how the electro-pneumatic circuit works. The various components are shown here. The first one is the compressed air supply. Second one is the air service unit consisting of FRL unit, pressure relief valve, pressure gauge, etc. Now this is the three-way two-position direction control valve, which is solenoid operated. So this is important for us. Then this is the flow control valve with the integrated check valve, which is shown. So this is the restricted opening and this is the check valve. Now this is the single acting cylinder. Now let us see how the forward stroke is obtained. By default, this direction control valve is always in the right envelope mode. So this is important part of the circuit with the help of this spring force. Now when we operate this switch S1, so this is the start switch S1, which is shown. And when we operate this, now for the time being, it is in the open position. When we close it, then the solenoid will get energized. So as you can see, the solenoid gets energized. This particular solenoid, S-O-N stands for solenoid, is nothing but the corresponding element on your pneumatic circuit. So this is this particular part. So this solenoid corresponds to this symbol over here on our pneumatic circuit diagram. So when we when this particular solenoid gets energized, then we'll get the left envelope mode and the air from port one, it will enter into port two. It cannot flow from this side because this is the closed position. So it has to flow through this restricted opening of the flow control wall. And because of the restricted opening, the, fl the flow will take place in a regulated manner and there will be a slow motion of the piston in the forward direction and we'll get the forward stroke. When the switch is released, then the solenoid will get de-energized and will get the right envelope mode and then the return stroke will start. So as you can see, the air from because of the spring force, there will be a retraction of the piston now towards left and the air from this side. Now it can freely, this is the free flow position of the check wall or non-return wall. So it can easily go from this side and it will enter from port two, port three, it will be exhausted to the atmosphere. So let us see this with the help of animation. So this is the start switch. When you press the start switch, we'll get the left envelope mode and the forward stroke starts. And when you release the start switch, then the retraction of the piston, that is the return stroke start. So let us see once again, when the start switch is closed, then the circuit will get completed, solenoid will get operated, or it is energized and will get operated and will get the left envelope mode. And when the switch is released, we'll get the right envelope mode. So as you can see, by default, it is in the right envelope mode. When the switch is pressed, it will get shifted to left envelope mode and the forward stroke starts. When it is released, again, it will be in the right envelope mode and the return stroke starts. So in this way, electro-pneumatic circuit work. Thank you very much for watching.